Hello and you're watching TV9 News and I'm your host Deepak. Now there is some good news in store. We possibly may have a way or even probably have a solution to stop blood clots if a German hypothesis is peer reviewed and approved. So what have German scientists found? Scientists in Germany claim that they identified the cause for the rare cases of blood clots observed in the recipients of AstraZeneca and Johnson & Johnson vaccines. The hypothesis by uh, Rolf Marschalek, a professor at uh, Goethe University, Frankfurt, says that the issue lies in how the vaccines deliver the genetic material that prompts the immune response needed to protect against the deadly pandemic. What happens in J&J and AstraZeneca vaccines? Well, both these vaccines compose adenovirus or cold viruses. This adenovirus vectors deliver genetic instructions which prompt the formation of a spike protein that tricks the body into thinking that it has been affected and then generates antibodies. Decoding the reason for blood clots. The adenovirus enters into the nucleus of the cell rather than the cytosol fluid inside the cell where the virus normally produces the spike proteins which latch on to the receptors in our body. Now this process sometimes makes the spike protein split apart and the splitting creates mutant versions that cannot bind to cell membranes where the immunization usually happens. And these floating proteins are secreted by cells into the body, triggering the rare blood clots. What suggestion did German scientists give for a fix? Well, the German scientists believe that this can be fixed if the vaccine manufacturers modify the gene sequence which instructs the spike protein so that it does not split. And if it doesn't split, then it wouldn't uh, lead to blood clots. Now, to help me simplify it for you even further, we have Dr. Sitesh Roy, a clinical immunologist from Mumbai. So, doctor, my first question is, what is causing blood clots according to this research? Could you please explain it to us in layman terms? According to the hypothesis put forth by these researchers, the spike protein coding genes that are entered into the chimpanzee adenovirus or the human adenovirus that is then inactivated and becomes the carrier for that gene. When this is inserted into the human body through an injection and enters the cells, it is believed that due to the nature of this spike protein coding genetic construct, it separates from the main adenoviral construct that it is inside and it can actually escape out of the cell in which it is supposed to induce the production of antibodies after spike proteins are produced. And as a result, when you have such viral particles floating in the bloodstream, you can actually induce a a reaction in the immune system that can be prothrombotic, which means promoting the formation of blood clots. And in such a situation, you can inadvertently induce the production of a blood clot by the same viral proteins and particles that were originally designed to induce an immune response and protect that human being. Also, doctor, can modifying gene sequence in the vaccine fix the problem? While this is still a hypothesis, Deepak, that needs to be verified through careful clinical research, wherein the existing vaccine and its dissociation and its induction of the thrombotic pathways is studied more carefully, we would not know whether this is the pathway for causing blood clots. Assuming that this pans out to be true, then yes, by changing the genetic construct where the gene that is coding for the spike protein and the gene of the adenovirus can be blended and matched in such a way that they do not dissociate or separate from each other and hence the spike proteins cannot escape and cause the induction of an immune reaction that leads to thrombosis or blood clotting, 
then certainly we can prevent these kind of reactions in the future. But I think that it would be jumping the gun to say that that is the only way that this can be done because there is still more research to be done in order to clarify this process and this mechanism. Well, if this research is peer reviewed and approved, we might see a solution to the mysterious blood clot cases. So do let us know what you feel about the research in the comment section below and also do not forget to like, share and subscribe to TV9 News on various social media platforms. Many thanks for watching and have a great day.